Welcome back for another video guys. Um, I figured I would get out of the garage today for a little bit of change of scenery and as you can see, it's beautiful out. So I made this video about the Jeep. If you wanna go check that video out, go check that out, which the Jeep is actually for sale on Facebook if you're in the Southern Utah area, you could probably find it. The video I made about the Jeep was uh, everything wrong with it. So we're gonna do everything wrong with my 1998 BMW M3 with 221,000 miles on it. Now, obviously we did some sort of uh, work on this thing already. There's some videos on the channel about that already. Uh, we detailed it, tried to buff the paint out, uh, raise the suspension, stuff like that. Um, on my Instagram, if you don't follow Instagram, go check it out here. I did a uh, reel on changing the badges, which I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know what you think. If you go check it out, come back here and let me know what you think about that, because pretty happy with that video. Other thing we changed was the shift knob, shift boot, and the e-brake boot. Don't know if it's bright enough in the car to get a good look at it, but um, go check those out too. That was another video. I'll link that one in the corner because I posted it on YouTube also. And let me know what you think of that because I think these turned out pretty cool. Happy with that purchase. Now that we got all the stuff that we did to the car out of the way, let's get some of the stuff that's wrong with the car. Well, that's the video that it's supposed to be. Let's uh, start talking about that. So as you see here, this car, like I said earlier, has 221,000 miles on it. So it's a lot and it's from 1998. So it's 23, 24 years old. And as you see here, these are all rock chips. These aren't, this isn't dirt or anything. So I got to get one of those little touch up pens and just touch every single one of these. There's about a million of them on the front. Um, kind of detracting away from the looks of the car. So it's bothering me a little more than a little bit. So I need to get on top of that and fix that. The sides of the car are all right. The, there's like a couple dings here and there. That's not a big deal. The rear passenger side fender, um, the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm thinking this car was in an accident at some point and they just did some uh, body work on it and just put like some body filler and stuff. I don't know, to me there's like a little bit of like cracking and stuff here, which is probably body filler. And there's this like lip on this. Not too big of a deal to me at the moment. I don't know if I'll ever fix that. Maybe eventually, but right now it's not on the top of the list. Then since we're at the rear of the car, the rear trunk, has, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get these for you here. Take my word for it, there's a couple dents on the rear trunk. It, they could probably just get PDR'd out. Where the dents are, I'll let you know in this video, I do have the LTW wing that has to go on here, but I do have to get it painted eventually and I haven't even chopped around for quotes yet, so that's coming in the future eventually, but those will probably cover up most of the dings on the trunk. While we're down here on the back bumper, it looks as if either while parallel parking, uh, someone tapped the bumper or rolled into something, but there's a couple circle slash screw shaped uh, things on the back bumper. Um, doesn't bother me too much. You kind of can't see it, but I know it's there. Then down here, the, the Remus exhaust probably just bottomed out a lot while driving in, probably in and out of driveways and whatnot, but as you can see, the bottom is kind of shaved off. Maybe eventually we'll get a new exhaust for it, but once again, not on the top of the list. That's pretty much, I guess, it for the exterior. Moving on to the interior, which is where this car is showing most of the signs of its age, and we're, those are higher up on my list to get fixed slash changed. Just starting off the seats, showing some sign of, signs of age. You see there, it's just cracked and stuff. Like I said, this is an old car, so these things are gonna happen, it's leather and whatnot but uh, I already started looking at like Recaro seats, but that will probably be further on down the line if we even ever do that. Let's get in the car here. So uh, no floor mats. Gonna start searching around for some floor mats. I don't know. I mean, we don't really need them here. It doesn't really rain that much and I probably won't even take the car out in the rain, but uh, floor mats, definitely need those. So once again, 221,000 miles on the car. Steering wheel, 
showing its age. I want to get a, I don't need a quick release, but I'm looking at a, a hub and a new steering wheel. That's probably going to be the next purchase, to be honest. Uh, we need to update this a little bit because, I mean, you touch this all, all day, every day when you're driving the car, that and the shift knob. So at least you have new of that and your car feels a lot better. Moving over, common BMW uh, E36 thing. Just this is like falling apart. It's just like bent and stuff. And to be honest, I'll probably never fix that because it's it doesn't really bother me. Um, if anything, I would like to just get a full black dash because this car was gray and they swapped in black interior, but they didn't fully swap in the black interior. And I don't even know if that comes black, but I'm just assuming it would come black with the black interior. This is my first E36. Now the two glaring obvious things, well, the most annoying things in this car for me, uh, one which I do have the stuff for it that I'm just being lazy and I haven't got around to doing it yet, um, is fixing the headliner. So the headliner, it's not the full headliner, and once again, this is a common BMW thing, a, a E36 thing, I guess just whatever glues and stuff they use was just horrible, but uh, the sunroof headliner. So if you look at this, it's just sagging and the foam stuff from inside is just falling all over the place. That's really bothering me and that needs to be fixed. And we move to the eight pillars. These, um, it looks as if there's supposed to be a tab somewhere in here to attach up here. Those are uh, not there. And there, this one, you could kind of get wedge it to stay, but then once you start driving, it falls again. That one won't stay at all. You need to fix that. Those headliner, eight pillars, really annoying. And then steering wheel. Last couple things here, if you look. So radio, let me turn this off so we don't get blasted with wind. The radio, uh, as you see, it doesn't really, doesn't work. Sometimes it asks for a code. I don't have the code for it. I could probably just hit up um, the previous owner just to see if they know the code. But I do have a new stereo that's gonna go in this car that my friend sent to me. So I will have a radio install video coming up soon. Um, it's supposed to be OEM plus. He used to have an E36, sold the car, never installed the radio, so he sent it to me. Then moving down to this screen, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it on, on uh, film here. The screen's seen better days. It doesn't, you can't read the full readout. I don't know if that's an easy find or replacement, but I'm gonna probably start looking into replacing that. I think it says my taillight is defective or not working, but I don't know for sure. The brake lights work. It might just be when you turn the lights on, the light doesn't go on. It could just be a bulb or something easy like that. But um, I'm gonna look into that eventually, but I've just been so lazy lately that uh, I haven't felt like doing anything. I don't know why. Now that I drove the car here and parked it, one of the lights went away. The check engine light, I think it, the check engine light is fake. Um, and those two lights, I think it's just a sensor. This is from the previous owner, straight from him. The check engine light is for an odd TPS code and the rear O2 heater, but it's tuned to disable the rear O2. TPS is verified working and runs perfect. Could be a wheel speed sensor for the TCS or something. So, um, previous owner, I actually trust him a lot. Um, I have a lot of faith in him, so um, I don't think he screwed me over on that one. And it obviously runs perfectly fine, this car. And uh, one thing that actually started happening recently is it developed some sort of like little oil leak. I haven't got around to look for it because like I said before, I've been really lazy lately. I don't know why. Um, between that and there was some other like clear liquid that leaked out, which also don't know what it's from. But once again, I'm not too concerned. The car runs perfect. I will um, address, I will look for the oil leak. I'm gonna change the oil soon. So that's when we're gonna look for it. All right, now that we did all that talking, let's go find a spot to do a burnout. I gotta find a better road. Probably should've just backed up, pulled the U-turn. Out of breath. Some of these roads are like super rough, so I'm really not trying to completely destroy the tires on these, so that's why I need to find a better road. Ah! 
hopefully I redeemed myself with that last one. If the tires weren't so damn loud, I would have sat there a little bit longer, but I am in a uh, little bit of a residential area, so I'm not gonna be a complete asshole. But that's it for me. So I think I spoke about that leak earlier. The leak, if you made it this far, thank you. Um, the leak, the little oil leak is towards the front of the engine. So if you're experienced with E36 M3s and you had something like a, a very slow leak at the front of the engine, drop some uh, suggestions down below where to start looking. Cause I mean, it could be the power steering leaking cause it's a little heavy at times, but I'm thinking it's oil. I don't know. Leave your suggestions down below if you have any idea. Thanks for joining me. I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share the video if you want, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.